Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I'm very proud of you because to write a book called How to Write a Book is so important because so many people have stories. They just don't know how to lay them out. Yes. Yeah. Well, my new book is uh, is a novel, actually, Night and Its Longings. Um, but I have spent years uh, teaching writing, uh, still teaching writing, fiction writing. So um, I definitely... Um, uh, have some thoughts about that. Um, did you have a specific uh, place where uh, you wanted to start? I was going to talk about both of them. I mean, just 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 the fact that you okay. know that that you're so dedicated to teaching people how to write books, and then with uh, Night and Longings, my God, a book about Jake Garrett. I, I mean, this this is a twister. I mean, it's just one of those things that go, comes with a lot of twisting in it. And I always want to know how the author feels as it's coming out of them onto that page. Yeah, well, um, uh, I kind of uh, revved myself up because I wanted uh, I wanted the book to be uh, fast paced. Um, it's a both a love story and a mystery, and yep. I wanted both of those elements to be working together. You know, in, in a kind of like a, a driving force uh, because that's the way the main character Jake experiences what's going on. Um, so I wanted to kind of create, you know, um, uh, 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 you know, a kind of tight sentences, um, short chapters, um, um, you know, hard hitting scenes to kind of, um, uh, so that the form follows the function. In other words, you know, what the book is about, uh, the, the way it's told, the way the story is told is reinforcing that and, and keeping the reader, you know, totally engaged from the first word to, to, to the last. Um, and, um, yeah, so that, that's what I think is in a, in a really important, um, uh, aspect of any book is, you know, is, you know, keeping the reader interested so that they'll get to the last page. Yeah. And, um, and that's what I really try to focus on when I'm writing. I don't think I've ever heard a story where the former lover's husband comes in and says, Hey, look, I need your help to help find my wife. <laughs> I mean, that, that is such an interesting <laughs> twist. Right, right. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I, the, the book, you know, Night and Its Longing, started with images of of night and and longing, which is, you know, I, I had the character who, you know, he he he's 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 really pining for for his lost love of you know the affair that he had um, with Vera 10 years earlier and so he uh, he can't sleep at night so he writes all night and um and uh, so that was, the first impulse i had was okay you know in the middle of the night when when we're alone when the world is stripped away um we tend to see ourselves in a in a clearer light uh what we what we have uh what we don't have what what's missing in our lives you know who who our true loves are yeah. and um and, you know in the midst of this um the husband comes and and says you know i, I think you're the key to her disappearance oh. and which takes jake totally by surprise and you know and brings him back into that world that he thought was lost to him forever that and, and the woman that he thought was lost to him forever yeah because i mean jake still has feelings for vera and the thing about it is is that as i was reading it i'm going oh my god a lot of couples are going to have a conversation when wives and husbands read this book <laughs> because they're going to say you know what you did in 1987 do you still have feelings for that person you giggle about right, this right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, um, and uh, right, and it's the kind of thing that we don't really like to talk about with <laughs> with our new lovers. Um, but you know, the degree to which the past still haunts us, um, and you know, things that uh, yeah, that 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 might have been. When did you know that this seed was going to become a story? Because you know, as an author myself, it's one of those things where it hits you at the most oddball times, but then you know you've got to follow it. Yeah, I it again for me things come in stages. I, I never get a fully formed idea. Um, you know, I, I, as I said, I have that impulse about you know uh, the middle of the night and what it's like. You know, when you can't sleep and you're awake and you're you, you're thinking, um, uh, you know, about uh, about your life, what you've done and what you what you haven't done. Uh, it started with that, and then the idea of you know of the, the, the a writer and Gwen 
Greenwich Village, uh, who writes in the middle of the night, uh, and, and then he gets this visitor. Um, it, it really came. Um, it really came out in in, in stages, uh, and not and not all at once. And and you know, the more I I I, I kept writing, the more the story began to unfold. And um, so I never personally, I never know what the end of the story is when I start. I I'm I'm waiting to find out, like the reader is. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's the fun part about writing, and that's one of the reasons why when I go to these elementary schools and talk with students about writing, I go, look, they, I know that they want you to read, but I want you to write as well. You, too, can become a storyteller. Yes, and that's that's extremely important advice uh, that you're giving um, because um, uh, the thing that we do is the thing that then then. We want to see in others. For, I mean, a simple example. I mean, uh, of all the sports, the only sport that I watch is baseball because that's what I I played as a kid. We started with stickball, then we went to softball, then we went to hardball, and and so that because I played it because it was a part of me. That's the sport that I follow. Um, whereas something like basketball, where, where, which I didn't play much of, um, doesn't have the same tug at my heart. Yeah. So I think you're giving your students. Um, the, the exact right uh, advice. The more if they you can get them writing, then they're going to read as well. I'm in North Carolina, so to hear that this you know takes me uh, to the places of the remote beaches of Carolina really got my attention. So what what drew you to that part of it to to, to put it in the story? Yeah, well, uh, just a personal uh, uh, interest of mine are the Barrier Islands yeah. off you know off the Carolinas and Georgia. I'm, I I love them. I've been to you know many of them. And um, uh, and one particular one I found haunting because it was so it was only 12 miles off the coast, um, uh, and um, and yet it, you're out there at night. It's pitch black, <laughs> and you you really you really feel cut off from the the familiar world. And that start you know that you know wound its way into that whole idea of night and its longings, where you you really okay you are. Alone alone here and there's nothing but you and so who are you you know <laughs> this is a chance to find out who you are and um uh and to say nothing of the beauty of, of being on these islands but um uh, and the history of them uh i, I just it was, it was always a personal fascination so when i i needed a place for the um uh, you know, for for the characters to go, uh, that that came that came to me um, because it, 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 you know it, it's such a com- they're so they're, they're such compelling destinations is what I guess what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I live in a forest here in South Charlotte, North Carolina, and you'll never catch me outside in that forest at night, never, because I know <laughs> that darkness. <laughs> yeah. Well, you you know, literally when I walked when I um, there was one cafe on this island but when I w- walked you know into the woods uh, you know away from the cafe literally I had to put my hand in f- out in front of me because <laughs> uh, I would have hit a tree I, 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 it was literally that dark yep, yep. Where, 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 how often do you get that experience oh my god oh my god oh. so where is the best place that people can find out more about you especially when it comes to you helping them uh, you know to, to release their story because I still think that one of the greatest books to ever be released is hiding in someone's closet or that they wrote or they pinned it out and they put it underneath their bed but they're so afraid of releasing it Philip yeah 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 um um yeah so certainly um people can uh contact me and uh happy to answer questions that they have about writing um uh at my website which is just www and my name philip uh, chofari uh, one l and philip and last name c i o f as in frank f as in frank a r i dot com um or you know if you can't remember how to spell my name um <laughs> just if you just you know look at the uh, on amazon on the, the uh, title of the book night and its longings uh my name you know my name will come up and you can get you know, uh, you can you can then, then go to my website and 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 question me um, uh, any questions that you have about writing. I've been writing, you know, teaching writing for years. Uh, I teach now 
for um, a company in New York called Gotham, and they do online yes. writing courses, and they do in-person writing courses, um, any, any kind of writing that you want to do. And what I always encourage people to do is if they've got that book that they really want to develop or uh, start even, um, taking a class or being in a workshop is really a good way to do that because that urgency of having some, something to bring every week you know, forces a lot of people to get, get it down on paper. Yep. And um, and um, so that's that's that would be one simple you know point of advice that I would give uh, if you know if you if you want to move yourself forward a little bit. Yep. Please come back to this show any time in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Yeah, I I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. You be brilliant today, okay, sir.